Does that look realistic? Is there a little lift there, maybe? Does that look perfect? Is anyone gonna actually notice that? Yes, guys, and welcome back to Hair System DIY. Today, I'm going to talk about perfectionism and hair system wearers and perfectionistic traits. I'm going to talk about what perfectionism is. I'm going to talk about how it relates to hair system wearers and whether it's a good or a bad thing. So perfectionism is basically when you define your... It's a personality trait, basically, and it's whereby you define yourself by how perfectly you can get things right and we see this in multiple applications we see this in studying we see it in exams we see it in the workplace we see it in social situations and we can see it in relationships now i am a classic type a personality perfectionist and in many respects it served me quite well i remember i was a super perfectionist when i was like doing my exams at school and stuff where you had to be very precise and that is when it can be helpful when you have to have a very high level of attention to detail to something today's sponsor guys is livivid you can find them at livividhair.com you can get a 15 percent discount code on any stock hair system or accessories that i've negotiated with them just for you guys it's adam 15 all the information is in the description box below this video if you want high quality hair systems with good shipping times and top customer service consider Levivid. when it starts emanating into other aspects of your life and it becomes all consuming that's when it can become a problem um, so the science has bore this out multiple times and actually people who suffer from chronic pain I think the science found that something like 95% of people who suffer from chronic pain identify as a perfectionist. It creates a high level of stress and anxiety within the body, which elevates the levels of expectations which you have on yourself to perform a certain task to a certain exact standard, which in turn creates a higher level of anxiety and so on and so forth. So in that respect, you can really see that it's actually not that helpful. Now, how is this relatable to hair systems? So I came across this post on the Facebook group, which is in my description box below. Highly recommend you join it if you haven't yet. Hair system wearers, people thinking about it, go join it. Um, yes, it, it, quite often you'll see people going right up to their hair system and they're like, how exactly do you think this looks? Do you think this could be any more perfect? Do you think this could any, be any more invisible? And this is classic perfectionism. Um, and I don't think it's that great in terms of hair systems because it just creates that level of anxiety which you don't really need. Now, I'm not saying it's your fault and it's certainly not, I'm a classic perfectionist, but I'm not saying it's my fault either. I'm saying that that's how we've been brought up. Um, so we're just living out those patterns that we sort of learn in early childhood. Um, but it's not the most helpful thing and it's something that you may want to consider sort of working on yourself as part of, you know, a self-improvement program. I do it day in, day out. I'm getting a lot better at it. I'm not perfect, but I'm getting a lot better at working with my perfectionist tendencies because it creates stress. It creates a high level of, level of anxiety and at times unrealistic expectations, which aren't really helpful for anyone what i will say is that other people are very very good at picking up subconsciously on your body language if you're walking around a supermarket or a shop and you're worrying about what everyone's thinking of your hairline do they think it's fake do they is this believable people will pick up on that body language they will pick up that you're feeling anxious about something maybe that you're trying to hide something um, that you're feeling insecure about something people pick up on that it's those subtle cues that we have been conditioned over the years uh, over thousands of years of evolution um, to basically pick up on so what i always say in this context is work on the perfectionism but also work on building up your own confidence. Own the hair system. The hair system is yours. Treat it as if it's part of your body. That's what I do. And it gives me a level of confidence, which I didn't have before. As I've said in previous videos, I was a very insecure guy prior to getting a hair system. Um, very sort of highly anxious, I would say. But it was only once I actually just started not giving a toss about the hair system and how it looked, I just went out 
and went about my day. And number one, I was a lot happier. And number two, I was a lot more confident. And number three, people would pick up on the confidence and they wouldn't pick up on the anxiety anymore because the anxiety wasn't there. I wasn't always concerned as to how my system looked. People will only question you if you give them a reason to question you. So if you're in that space of hyper-awareness, hyper-alertness, hyper-vigilance around the system, people will probably either consciously or subconsciously start questioning something. Something doesn't feel quite right, they'll get a gut feeling about it. If you own the system and you're confident in it and you treat it as it's a part of your body, which I do every day, then you just won't have a problem because people won't pick up on anything. They'll be like, this guy seems confident. He seems happy in himself. He walks with his head high, you know, his shoulders are relaxed, that kind of thing. So in answer to the question at the top of this video, yes, I think hair system wearers, including myself, are perfectionists. I don't think it's something that started from wearing a system. I think we've probably had it pretty much all our lives. I don't think we would have got hair systems if we weren't perfectionists. But it doesn't mean that it's a pattern which we need to continue ongoingly for the rest of our life because what it creates is a perpetual cycle of stress and anxiety which leads to unrealistic expectations and then more stress and more anxiety. It's just not helpful. The reason we got hair systems in the first place was probably to leave that anxiety and stress at the door and to actually become more confident in ourselves again. So allow yourself to walk into that new person. Allow that person to actually flourish and come through. Now with perfectionism, if you wanna work with it, there's plenty of books out there, and I've read a lot of books on perfectionism and how you can sort of move away from it and live a happier, more relaxed life. Um, so it's worth Googling um, or going on Amazon, type in perfectionism book and that kind of thing. And you can work on it that way. You can even see a therapist if you wanted to, or, or a sort of a coach if you want to. Um, but the most important thing is recognizing the patterns. So in the context of hair systems, notice how often you're looking, you're comparing yourself in the mirror and always checking your hairline, like I did at the beginning of this video. You know, Notice how much you're doing that. That was a parody, by the way. That was literally used to be me. That's what I used to do every like 10 times a day. It wasn't helpful. It made my anxiety worse. So what you want to do is notice, that's the first step, just notice those patterns and make that choice. You don't have to go down that route. So guys, now I want you to tell me about your perfectionist tendencies in relation to hair systems. How often do you check your hairline? Does your hairline really bother you? Does the density of the system really bother you? Are you highly influenced by what you think other people are thinking of your hair? Let me know in the comments box below. If you're enjoying my content, please help this channel grow by subscribing. Um, I think 75% of people, 70% of people who watch my videos aren't even subscribed. So you're missing out, guys. If you could subscribe and just help this channel grow and it will find more people supporting the content and supporting me, um, I'd really appreciate it. I'll speak to you very soon, guys. Bye for now.